this opportunity to bring national attention to the fact that Prince Edward Island is one of the few provinces that does not have elected school boards. We are hoping that the government will, uh, will listen, that they will uh, reinstate elected school boards, that they will throw out the category, the uh, school change report, and call a moratorium on closing schools. I did the Love Reading program uh, for Volunteers Educate, and then I did the Volunteers for Literacy program, and I'm now I'm going back to school for the it's, it's been very rewarding. And I would hate to even think of having a sit in a chair and do it. And what grade are you in about? Grade two. So what do you like about your school? That there's that it, I, all the teachers, I like all the teachers and that they're nice. We are united in our support. We have uh, people that are involved in all of the schools that are slated for closure, or I guess recommended for closure. We have representatives from each of the areas, as well as people that aren't directly affected by the school closures as well. So it's wonderful to see and to have that support from people. hoping that we'll have support from people all across PEI. This doesn't just impact the five schools slated for closure, but this impacts, well, students and, and parents and teachers across our entire province.